I'm Luke Galloway, and I play country music. I hunt and fish. I have two wonderful kids and some great friends. This is my life. My name is Jason Ramsey. Um, I currently reside in Asheville, Ohio, but I grew up in Columbus and Hilliard my whole life. You know, I bow hunt. Um, shotgun hunt, muzzleloader hunt every year in Ohio for whitetail. Uh, Saturday we pulled in to camp I took some. Tim took us out and got us set up on our baits. Um, one of the guys in my group shot a bear 15 minutes in, um, so he was the lucky one. Whatever Joe tells you, I think Tim walked his bear in on a leash and Joe pet it before he shot it because 10 minutes in the blind smelling like alcohol and sweat and shot a bear is a little bit ridiculous. Yeah, Jason, a um, little cranky at times and gets a little envious. <laughs> um, Sunday night, I came back early from my hunt because as I was sitting there, I had five wolves um, come down the logging trail and start to circle back around behind me. Um, Monday, went baiting with Tim and uh, the same bait that Joe was on Saturday had been hit again and we'd seen pictures of another bear. Um, so we, Tuesday, I decided to set up there and we sat there, got in the blind, everything set up about three o'clock. Didn't see anything, didn't hear anything. And I remember pulling up my gun and checking to see if I still had light at the actual bait. And I still had enough light for a shot. And um, Luke got cameras adjusted. All of a sudden out of nowhere, Bear poked his head out and turned and looked at us. And of course I jumped, made too much noise, and I think the bear heard me, and it kept looking down at us, and then it turned around and walked back into the woods, um, so I was a little bummed. And within a couple minutes, the bear come back out. And he walked in front of the bait and started to climb on the tires, knock the bucket off, knock the tires down. And I was shaking so bad I couldn't breathe, I couldn't see, my scope was bouncing all over the place. Um, I was just a nervous wreck, way worse than any buck fever I've ever experienced. Pussy! And I, the last thing I remember is I took a deep breath and I had the crosshairs on his shoulder and I took a shot and the bear kind of sat down. and got up and turned around and walked back into the woods. <laughs> so we knew immediately that I had missed, but we didn't know how bad I had missed. Um, so Luke and I started reviewing the, fit, the footage to see how off I was on my shot. And me being used to whitetail hunting, I knew that once you shoot at an animal, they don't come back. So as we're sitting there reviewing the tape, um, next thing you know, the bear comes back out again. There you go. There you go. Give it to him. 
Oh, yeah. There you go, buddy. Fuck. You got him, bud. Did you get him? Yeah, there? I got him. Up. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Tyler. <Another> fuck. <laughs> Good job. That cocksucker came back a second time. <laughs> High five, brother. I can't believe he came back out for a second shot. I know. Well, well the I way you, I was done for the day. Well, the way you left, you know, it's like you never, that's the thing, you never know. He like looked, but I don't think he knew. Right. And then he just kind of walked back and then pokes his head right back out. Yeah. Like, no fucking way I get a second chance. I can't blow it two times. Yeah, buck, like something like that, we'd have been done for the night. Yep. I can't. I look up and there's his head. I'm like, yeah. I get another try at this. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> no. Somebody was looking out for me on that one. It's not a real big one. He looked way bigger in the scope, but it's my first bear. I'll take him. Man, you were shitting bricks. It was, it was yeah. fun to watch. Oh. I don't, I've never shook that hard about shooting anything in my life. I couldn't, like. Just gotta get him back. shaking. <laughs> I still can't stop. Well, I'm excited though now I've got one bear on the ground. Uh, next year when I come back I'm looking forward to landing something bigger so we'll see how next year pans out for us.